you mentioned jihad just now. You, you've said you support jihad, uh, particularly in Israel or, or Chechnya or something mm -hmm. like that. If these children are not satisfied with what they're doing, because you've called this state oppression, mm -hmm. do you, would you encourage them to perform jihad in this country? I mean, I don't know why you would ask that question. It seems a bit silly because... Well, you, you mentioned know, jihad. You've talked about yeah, the struggle. You've talked about oppression. Right. So that doesn't necessitate that it means that you do violence everywhere. What we teach our young people is that every single context has its own dynamics, right? And I think it's been very clear that, you know, people like myself, people like Mars and Beg, others who are part of our communities have given very clear guidance that actually we are part of this, this society, we're part of this culture, I was born and raised here. So when you ask questions like that, it's a weird way of kind of like exceptionalizing me. You know, I think that's quite problematic and maybe you should think a little bit about yourself when you ask questions like that. But the point is... It's your answer that, I'm interested in, actually. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, the thing is, is that you, you've taken one thing, but actually had you le read my literature, had you read the stuff that I've, you know, written about all of these topics, you seem very clear about the fact that I don't think that's right. That I don't think it's the right. I don't think my religion allows and for it. And you could have said but that in 15 no, no. seconds rather than give me. No, a but hold on. No, for two no, no, no. You deserve the lecture though, because you know, inherent in what you ask, is this typical kind of um, you know, blindness to your own bigotry. Mm. 